Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Intense Oud Saffron. This is from Paris Corner, or the company Paris Corner, and there's a, they have a lot of great offerings. They do a lot of clones. The bottle is really cool on this, the amber color of the juice and the bottle. Wooden cap is just super pleasant. Doesn't click into place, it just kind of slides off. You can't really pick it up from the cap. There's a cool little golden plaque on the front. It's got its little logo on the bottom. It's a nice bottle. I'm really happy with the bottle in the presentation. This is a complete blind buy. I have no idea if this is mocking something or interpreting something. I have no idea. I kind of just bought it on a whim. I mainly bought it for the bottle because the bottle is dope. Give it a whirl. The atomizer is really good. Ooh, smelling it in the air, super classy. Whoa. Oh my God. This is one of the most pleasant oud fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. It's got a sitting in the doctor's room, filling out the paperwork, you're regretting your life, but that pleasant aroma, the doctor, he's driving a Mercedes, you hate him. It smells like that. I'm not seeing it here. Honestly, you know what actually this smells like? Oud for glory, but in a better way. I am picking up a lot of the saffron, a lot of the woods, a lot of the oud, but there's like this sweetness in there. This sweet, beautiful rubber glove texture. I know that sounds stupid and that's not the sexy thing. Like who the f thinks a rubber glove is sexy? Sexy. I'm getting such a uh, a beautiful kind of woody saffron sweet. I'm not gonna say this, but because I love vanilla, I feel like there's vanilla in here. I'm not gonna give my hopes up. Not nah. looking up the notes right now. Oriental note, vanilla score. Oh, it's so nice. Saffron, patchouli, oud, musk, and gayak wood. Um, so from my first impressions, I love this stuff. I know love is a big word. It's a commitment word, okay? It's something you tell someone or something that you want to try and give all your money to. I understand that. It's so pleasant. It's got this like saffron sweet. So it's like Tom Ford Oud Wood with more sweetness and some saffron in there. It's just stunning. This was a complete blind buy for me and I, I was actually a little nervous about this one because it doesn't come across as something that I would enjoy. This is a more wintertime, fall time kind of fragrance. This would probably turn me off in the summertime or the springtime, like heavy heat spring. But just as it is, I'm very, very impressed. Um, this has my name written all over it. It's been about five days since I've recorded my first impressions. Thoughts have changed slightly. I got to wear this once and uh, the other two times that I wore it was on my hand. So what do I think about it after I given it a full wear? It's nothing groundbreaking. Um, I'm just gonna say that. Um, I did find out that this is an interpretation on um, Oud Saffron by Hugo Boss. Apparently it's a clone of that. Um, I was a little disappointed on the performance of this. It lasted only five to six hours. I kind of lost it. I was a bit concerned because I was at work and I had a little bit of a lighter day and I wanted to go to the gym. So I was hoping that this wasn't too beast mode to wear, uh, you know, when I got off work that I wouldn't be choking anybody out. Not a big deal with this one because it doesn't perform all that well. I sprayed it on at about six in the morning went to work and by noon it was completely gone. Just a heads up on that, um, I do like the smell. It's a very well blended oud with the saffron. It's just, it's there's a little bit of vanilla in here. It, it is very pleasant. Uh, it's a very pleasant scent. I am happy with it. It just doesn't perform all that well, but the scent trail on it is very, very nice. No compliments when I wore it, but um, I was sure loving the way I was smelled. So I did find it a little cloying. It did stick around and hover around in that first hour to two hours. It just kind of was always there. And that could be a downside for some people. If you don't like heavier fragrances and you're not sure about this one, I would kind of stay away from it just because of that. If you're not wearing this in the cold or the, you know, the cooler weather, I could see it getting really cloying. I'm gonna start doing ratings for my first impressions 
Um, and for intense oud saffron, I was a little torn, but I'm gonna go with a six out of 10 for this one. Like I said, I do enjoy it. it doesn't perform all that well, and it kinda can get a little cloying. Very good scent character on this one too. I love the saffron and the vanillas in here. And I believe that this one is more readily available than Boss Oud Saffron. I haven't tried Oud Saffron from Hugo Boss. I hear great things from that one, but um, just taking this one as it is, six out of 10. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you like fragrance-related content, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.